so today in this session we will learn about the dom model document object model how the javascript handles this document object model in the code so let's try to see so now what are the features that we have learned up to now uh, these are all the things we have learned it right up to now those all features are available in the core javascript so those are the core javascript programming language so that one is related to the programming code now whatever the features right now we are learning it depends on the where you will you, you will be using the javascript right now we are using the javascript in the browser so that means so we the browser will give you some of the apis or some of the features so which which you can make use of those features and you can man and you can control the browser and all those things now in order to control the browser so the javascript has an access to the browser api so that browser api will give you the access how we can control this browser browser means nothing but this one chrome browser or any browser it may that it may be a browser chrome browser firefox or anything so whatever the browser in which browser you are trying to execute the javascript so here there we will be using so let's try to see <coughs> about this one so for example whenever you try to use this console.log of window i told you that window is a global variable available in the javascript i told you so it is not available in the javascript so when you execute the javascript in the browser so the browser api will inject this variable into the javascript so that this variable will be available to you now whenever you try to run this one so you will be able to see a long list of object so we know the, the concept of the object right so we have seen the different ways how we can access the object and all those things so for example if i try to use this window so this is a big object if you will be able to see here this is a big object Struct one second. So here you will be able to see these all the things, right? So huge number of list will be it will be available. Let's try to see these all things. Main main things we'll try to see it. So this object, this variable or window variable is made available access by the browser API. So now this window means nothing but these all the browser window. Okay, so whatever the browser window you are trying to see from the tab to the search bar to the uh, inside this google everything so that is nothing but a window here so this is one concept in this window you'll be having lot more properties alert blur these are all the properties are available so you can make use of these properties and you can do you can manipulate the browser or you can get access through the browser properties and all those things you can get access so this is the first concept which you need to learn so first one is the window is a global variable which is made available in the browser so now in the browser for example so if you want to access window dot location if you try to do window dot location so you will be able to access the this one so if i try to do http www.google.com okay if i am trying to do http google.com so this is the url which i am trying to access this is the url so if i want to get this address bar what is the url present in the address bar if i want to get it means so it will be present in the window window means the total browser access so location if i try to access this one here i'm able to see the hash thing hash is nothing but a fragment uh, if i try to explain you oh, i can say so here if i try to explain you so you will be having like this www.google.com so like this the url will be there slash uh, search slash uh, question mark uh, i is equal to uh, m percent so like this you will be having and uh, afterwards like this so this is the total url structure the structure of the url is like this so first one is called as a normally it's a protocol so http it is called as a protocol so the way which you, how we are trying to call it may be a tcp udp or anything same mqtt or anything so different types of protocols will be there but i am trying to tell about the http so we are trying to deal about the web only right first one is in protocol <coughs> so here this one is a host name okay host name origin uh what a domain name so whatever the name you can call it as this one is called as a domain name and this one is called as a path so some people will case as path internal page or internal like that we can say it so this one is a path up to here this one is a path 
and after the question mark whatever the question marks these are all are there these are called as in query parameters in the url so these are called as a query parameters and after this one hash so this one is called as in fragment hash document fragment so whatever the name it may be so the different different names we used to call it as an url fragment like this we used to call so these are the different types of this is the structure of the url which you will be having now if you try to type uh, window.location the first one is the hash that is nothing but doesn't have any hash that is the reason it is giving it as empty for example let's say that when we are trying to search anything let's try to search it here google search so here we are having internal page and here we are having total query parameter i don't know how much long it is so let's assume so there is also a limit to the url length also so here i am doing hash i so let's try to refresh this one and i am trying to use this one and here hash you are able to see hash high at the rate at, at last i have given hash high right so you will be able to see this one after the hash whatever the data is there you will be getting this all data here and this is the host name host name and host are one and the same only and this is the href href is a complete url okay this is a complete url and this is the origin origin means including the protocol and all those things you will be able to get it so this is a protocol and port port is default if you don't get anything so you will be having 8080 port this one so in the url structure you can also assume that one also so here you will be having if it is other than 8080 port means so you need to mention the port name so 9100 means you need to mention the port name if the port is 8080 or 80 something like that means there is no need to mention the port name http always if there is no port name means it will append the 8080 there so that is the thing it is trying to explain port name path name is nothing but an internal path so internal means slash search so what is there search means here that is nothing but a query parameter whatever the query parameter is there it is trying to show it so these are some of the methods which are available for this one so these are location uh, this one is a constructor function so we are having some constructor methods and this one is an object prototype so we have seen about these prototypes also so this is about the location so that means in order to access the url the complete parts of the url so we will be using this window dot location so this is one concept okay so here what we have seen so window dot location and we have seen the different parts of the url also so what is the different parts of the url tomorrow when we are trying to do frame the url in the back end or anywhere so we need to know the structure of this one protocol domain name internal sub page or path name whatever the name it may be so query parameters and last one is the document fragment so this document fragment will be only read by the client side only the server cannot have access to this hash url document fragment whereas this query parameters and all those things both the client side and also the back end also can able to get access but whereas the back end cannot able to access this hash thing hash thing is only meant for the client side so this is all about the location so this one is exclusively present in the window property okay window object or otherwise you can say it in this window object only you will be able to have when i am trying to open this uh, window object such a huge one my browser is getting stuck okay fine so you understood about this one right so first one is the location we have learned about the location so location is nothing but at the top when you want to access the address bar which is exclusively available for the browser it is not related to the website or anything so now it has opened <coughs> that is all about the window dot location so whenever you want to manipulate so for example let's say that window dot location i have typed this one so this one will open very easily so here you will be able to have some of the methods so we have seen what are the properties available here okay so these are all the properties available hash host these all things if you try to see here there is one method where one function so here you'll be able to see f f is nothing but a function we need to use it like this so this reload method what it will try to do is window dot location dot reload if you try to use so this one will reload the page again so this page will be reloaded and if you try to see you can play around with all the methods which are available like this if you can open and you can open it so replace means it will replace the url so uh, if replace means for example window dot location dot replace i want to replace it with http www dot google dot com so home page i want to replace it with the home page so now it has been moved to the home page so like this you can also 
use this one so for example if i want to get a complete url means href so now this is the complete url so window dot location so these are all the things search means there is nothing but a query parameter to string means it will convert it into the to string and prototypes these are all things you will be able to know it so these are all the object prototypes and these are all some of the uh, these, uh, these things leave it and these are all the, these are all the some of the methods which are available in the window dot location